Welcome back to another tutorial series of the Unreal Engine game mechanics. Today we take a look at the Zelda Breath of the Wild Kukura Leaf. Kukuro Leaf. Um, as you can see here. mechanic uh, I tried to implement it in the Unreal Engine 4 and I guess it worked pretty well here. Um, yeah, we step into it and we pick the leaf up, the Kukuro leaf, and if we now want to go to the other side, we can see if we touch the water, we immediately drain health. This is not what we are working for because we want to reach the other side alive, so we press the tab button to recover. And go again on the boat and press the E button. The E button makes the swing and it casts the blow effect. So you can blow wind into the sheets of the sail. And if we now blow wind against it, we can get to the other side. If we now push from the left or the right side, it, it depends where you stand. So you can, if you stand right you can create an impulse which goes to the left and when you stand left it goes to the right if you stand in the middle you get you go straight forward um, as you can see too you have a little drag here so you can see the drag to the right um, this sh should um, should be example of a river like behavior <laughs> um, but if you now if you see you go right not towards the aim to the target to the location but if we now stand to the right we can redirect our position and try to get uh, so this is what we're aiming for here so yeah we reach the other side the thing is dragging here so now after this we will head up to the blueprint section and see what I did there. So if we now begin with the third person example map, so the level blueprint, um, we just created a trigger box volume above the water. So if you jump on it, you will lose health when you touch the water. This goes over um, the trigger box volume, which relates into uh, overlapping actors and if the length is bigger than one it should cast your health minus one ten times in a second in addition to this you can directly add the boat drag so that it drags to the right or left or whatever um, the same thing you get the overlapping actors of the class filter boat and cast it to the boat and when you cast it you make the delay with the get word data seconds and add a word offset to the Y location you can set it up like you ever want um, and you as reference you get the cube so the the plate where the boat lays in the water yes um, the next one is the leaf the leaf is simply this a stick with an attached sphere with grass optic i made now so for for reference to the kurok leaf um, when we head into the event graph we have the same as the stick tutorial um, we have an attached to component we 
get the parent is the mesh of the player character and we make the location rotation with the scale root snap the target and the socket name is stick which I created in the in the left no, the right hand of the character as next you make the cylinder and stick to set collision enabled so to no look collision so you don't get any interference with the character um, after this one you make an attached and active weapon but this is not necessary because it's it's just um, for if you have more than one weapons to equip yes um, that is the leaf so we get up straight to the leaf wind blow so to the actual event driven actor um, we go into the leaf wind blow and we see we have a sphere which triggers the which is the trigger for the uh, for the event and we made a particle it's the distortion of the fire particle out of the starter content i um, put out all of those smoke and flames and put some put only the distortion effect and this distortion effect uh, is multiplied by 100 times of the spawn rate and so on um, you can create it by yourself like as you want um, now we go into the graph of the wind windblow and if the component begins to overlap with someone it destroys the actor after a delay of 0 0.2 seconds um, so if it hits something it immediately disappears that's for the leaf wind blow so we get into the boat let's get into the boat event graph so the boat is simply the plate as you can see here um, and the the sail is connected to a box collision model uh, collision box um, it should just look like a sail <laughs> um, the box is simply the event the event uh, thing where you go to a um, component begin overlap event you can choose this by dropping down to the events and clicking plus to the begin overlap then you branch this and if the other actor is not equal the player character so if you just accidentally walk to the um, against the sail collision box it doesn't trigger so um, it just triggers if something else will collis collide with it so um, like the leaf wind blow as suggest um, after the branch you add an impulse when it checked that it's definitely not a character so the the impulse got to, uh, is applied to the bottom so so to this one and the impulse itself um, I made the this one I made um, lock the position into in the Z target so in the Z um, position so it doesn't flip over and something so it can't flip over I enabled gravity and simulate physics to it so and give it a mass so it worked for me in this case uh, and made a linear damping so it doesn't have a fraction as it, it has a fraction and it comes nearly to a water fraction I guess as in the video um, yeah mass 500 kilograms uh, and if you now get the player uh, this is the um, the location and rotation you as you can see if you stand in the left on the boat you can dra uh, you can cast an impulse to the right and if you stay right you can cast the impulse to the left and if you stay in the middle you go straight uh, this is simply the thing um, so you get the cube get the world location find look at rotation the start is the actor character and the 
and the end and the target is simply the cube so you can get aligned to this um, yes a vector height so if you now get this find look at rotation and get the forward vector you can multiply this one by a, a constant of 150,000 it works here so you can can choose it doesn't work with a hundred or something it doesn't move either um, and you just Um, pre uh, get the x and the y impulse so you you have your co uh, constraint z so it doesn't matter if you put in z um, yes and that's it right here in the boat segment and now we head over to the third person character which is a little bit overfill <laughs> so we make the if we press the e button um, we don't need this here if we press the e button we go straight into the leaf swing the leaf swing consists of the cast to the leaf so we just check if the leaf is equipped so we get the leaf is equal to the attached weapon and branch this and if this is true uh, we cast the leaf wind blow which we just created before um, this is just the that it casts in front of the character. Yeah, it's just simply the, that you cast it in front of the character. Oh, I forgot something. Um, the leaf wind blow is a projectile. That's this. There's I guess the most important thing here. Um, the location and the rotation of the character straight where you aim with the mouse in in the bottom in the center so as you have in crosshairs in first person shooters so if you go into the leaf wind blow again uh, we can see we have a projectile movement here with an initial speed of thousand a max speed of thousand and no bullet drop so projectile gravity scale is zero so it just just fly away without any gravity here yeah, and that's it, I guess. Yes, <laughs> and that's it. So if we right jump into it, I can show you again how this distortion thing works. If we jump, we pick it up right now and we press the E button, you can see it casts the leaf wind blow. I will add again some interaction with another object so if you can cast this on the on the fire pillars that the fire will go out but this is it like yeah it, this is it yeah if we press now again we can Whoa. Edge of the earth. So, thanks for watching. Um, see you in the next video when we discuss another game mechanics and make another game mechanics. Feel free to like the video, uh, and if you liked it that much, you know, can you can subscribe my channel? I would really appreciate that. See you next time. Until then, ciao.